Good morning, modern steaders. Ah, I am happy we are all done pouring concrete for the barn slab. Ah, to say yesterday was uneventful would be an understatement. Don't go any further, it's gonna get worse. I'll put a link to yesterday's video right here if you guys haven't seen it, but we got the concrete poured. There's just a couple of little hiccups, but I'm glad it's done. Good morning, CWC, Figaro. One of the goats is jumping on the door. I bet it's Willow. Morning, Willow. Girls, Hope. You kiddos want to go outside this morning? Part of the new barn is gonna be stalls for the goats, a milking room, and then the center area is going to be our workshop. But one of the reasons we're building the barn is to have better flow with the goats. Nice out here in the sun, kids. Come on out. Good morning, little P. Little P, what are you doing, Mr. Man? Mr. Man, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. Yes, good morning. You see that kitty cat? Yeah. Come on, Willow, you ready? Come on. Come on. You know it's milking time. There you go. I have to give Willow a little bit of feed at a time while I'm milking her, because if I give her all of her feed at once, she eats it way too fast and I don't have enough time to get done milking before she starts getting anxious on the stand. I found that massaging the udder helps get more milk out faster. Now that we've had goats for a year on the homestead, we know what our weaknesses are with our goat setup and what we need to add to make it better for the goats and better for us. And that's what we're going to be focusing on this summer with our barn and a few other projects. We want to make sure we have a good healthy setup for them for the winter time and spring and fall when we get as much rain as we have been getting. It's noisy here in the morning guys. We got the big goats going. We got the goats outside. Your babies are ready to see you, Willow. You ready? Come on. Go ahead, go see your babies. Go. Quick, quick, quick. You're a good mama. Oh, Blossom. Did she leave you anything? Kid always wants some grain. There you go. They are nice and long pigs. That means we're gonna get a lot of bacon because bacon comes from the belly section. So the longer they are, the more bacon we'll get. What are you up to, CWC? The black copper moron and Easter egg layers are doing so good. Pretty soon we'll be able to put them in the flock with New York City. I'm gonna get a little bit bigger first. You guys ready to move? Go 
Girls want to let the baby goats in with the bigger goats. Yeah, I guess so. All right, let's get a spool for him first. Let's hope I like that spool. I think they all like it. Oh, that's, make sure you put the money side down. Okay, Olivia, you're fine. You could probably do it right here. I don't want it. I don't want it that close to the corner. I think that'll be good. It's a little close to Hope, I thought you were going to be on there first. All right. Now I can't. All right, ready to get the babies. Oh, Hope, you following your, your mommy? <laughs> she thinks dad's her mom. No. No? Dad's her dad. You want to come out, Willow? You and your babies? Hi, babies. Checking things out. They've been in the barn before. <laughs> A new adventure begins. Oh, they're going to be in the hay feeder, I bet. Oh, I'm sure they'll be in the hay feeder. <laughs> oh. There, thank you, Willow. Well, if there's any of my babies, you be nice. Look at the hair standing up on her back. <gasps> Little P, you tell her. It's time to extend the side of the feeder. So they have more room? They have more room than I finally remember to. What do you think, Hope? Do I gotta cut this? Let's see. Nope. Awesome. I like it. Do you feel like you have helpers? I feel like I got lots of helpers. Watch out, Hope. Lots and lots and lots of helpers. She doesn't even care about that noise. You don't mm. even care, do you, Hope? What are you girls? Oh, girls, you're not all girls, right? What are you kids doing? What are you doing, Willa? Taking a break? Huh? Taking a break under there? You're silly. Willow said I've had enough of these kids. Mummies need breaks once in a while too. Make sure you're better mama. Just not too long of a break. Oh, you think he's a walker? You think he's on stairs? What's that? He, he used you as stairs. I felt <laughs> Silly. What's my baby's doing? <sighs> It's not as fun for me, huh? Because I don't get to just sit with just you guys. Yeah. Hope, stop chewing on my pants. Oh no. Come here, little pee. Come on. Don't worry, the other kids, only the kids can fit in there. Everybody else is too big. You didn't like that feeling under your leg? Oh, I brought out just enough screws. You did? Yeah, that's my last one. Okay, let him nurse. Yeah. Did you? Pretty good. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Hey, try it out. Go ahead, Hope. Try it out. Oh, I hope oh. I hope that just 
Yo. Boss, boss and Buttercup's gonna try it out first. Yeah, it. yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> okay, I'll get up there, I will. Probably have to. Little man, you're so handsome. All these ladies. Where's Magnolia? Where's? Oh, look, look, look. Come here. Is it ah, yay. Let's get the whole bed. Don't worry about the plant. Let's get the soil. There you go. Good job. Why do you only get two? Oh. It's finally grilling weather here at Lumna Acres, and today we're going to be grilling up some nice grass fed hamburgers from farmfoodmarkets.com. If you guys want to purchase anything off of their website, if you use promo code LAJUNE, I'll have a link in the description down below. You'll get 10% off your order. Man, I'm so glad it's finally grilling season. We're going to be having some delicious grass-fed burgers. You got a little bit of salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder mixture here. We're going to put a little bit on each side of our burgers. There's nothing like a nice fresh burger cooked on the grill. One of the reasons we love raising our own food here at Lumna Acres is we know what goes into it and the story behind all of our food. That's one of the great things about farmfoodmarkets.com is, and on a lot of the labels, it tells you what farm it came from. And then I can go on Farm Food Markets website and I can read all the backstory of the family farms that are raising all this delicious food for us. And I really love that. Even though I'm not growing this food myself or raising the food myself, I know the story, I know the backstory, I know the family that's growing it for us, and I know what it means to that family of us buying that meat from their farm. It's so awesome being able to be connected to your food one way or another. Time for some cheese. Oh, those look so good. Can't wait to get that in my mouth. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah. Look, I made you a hay wagon that is also a deck. Oh nice. Like you move it I in front work. of your sliding glass door for you. <laughs> Maybe we could do that. You can I do that? Could. Yes, it's your movable deck. I'm gonna put my patio furniture on it. You made the pretty burger. Mmm, that's pretty. Mm, looks good. Mmm. <laughs> build a garden planter for our pepper plants. I'm using some 10 inch wide rough sawn pine boards that we have. Sounds like somebody's cutting up their firewood for the year. You think this is a drive through? I do. I want to grab the pepper plants next after I put some dirt in.
we're gonna use some loom. Just plain loom. Why? If the pepper plants get too much nitrogen, they will not produce fruit, peppers. They'll just produce a lot of dark green leaves. That's what we did last year? That's what happened to us last year, yep. Learn something new every time. Sure do. That's that we're gonna put outside in that thing he's building. These are a nice green color right now. They're not super dark. If we put them closer together, we can probably get the tomato in. Well, let's see. Let me just check in. Pretty. It does look pretty. Oh, it looks so good. Love it. This raised bed garden bed needs to be amended a little bit so we're going to be adding some of our compost that our winter pigs composted for us a couple of years ago. Cucumbers planted here, some buttercup squash, zucchini and summer squash, and some more squashes here. Now we're gonna mulch them and hopefully suppress most of the weeds. We've been doing some weed whacking and mowing. I thought the goats might like some of the trees we cut down. Make a good snack for them. Oh yeah, you want that. Yeah. I saved all the good maple for Willow and the babies. them they'll come back out for the maple I saved the good stuff for you willow what do you think little P is that the good stuff some red maple little P sure likes it You like that willow? <laughs> you like the grass? 
Huh, you like the grass Gina just cut? Is that good? Got the forms removed from in front of the outdoor kitchen's apron and got it all raked in nicey nice. We poured the centerpiece during the first pour and then the end two end pieces are from the pour we just did the other day. There you go, there's your deck. I need some lemonade. You need some lemonade. Maybe your Olivia will get it for you. Olivia, can you make me some lemonade? Can you make me some lemonade? What Look at said? Tanner. I don't know. Aww, oh, baby. You guys want an afternoon feeding? There you go. Hoping today there's more eggs inside New York City. I don't know why they slow it up. There's a few eggs laid under New York City, but there's not enough to make that much of a difference. The crazy white chicken must think I have food. I ain't got no food. People keep asking if we're gonna get shirts of the crazy white chicken made up. We will if we can come up with a good idea of something to make on a shirt. So if you have an idea of what you'd like to see for the crazy white chicken shirt, leave it in the comments down below. If you have an image you'd like to see on a shirt, email it to us. Our email is on our about page. This girl's gonna watch out. <laughs> what? Today we only have one egg? Oh guys, we really need to figure this out. I'm thinking tomorrow morning I'm gonna wake up first thing in the morning and move NYC. I'm wondering if it's the knotweed that they've been on lately. If for some reason that is messing with their egg production. That's the only thing new that has happened. So I'm just trying to think back. The things that have happened since the chickens have slowed up laying their eggs is we moved them to the area they're on now that has the knotweed in it. And we also started doing the construction dirt work for the new bond location at the same time. We've had the big heavy equipment in, we've had the concrete trucks in, so we've been down there quite a bit. So we'll try moving them to a new location with better pasture and seeing if that helps or not. I hope that is the main cause. We only let the little baby goats out with the main herd for about an hour today, maybe two. We just wanted to see how it went and then tomorrow we'll let them out even more. We just wanna make sure that they get used to everybody and that Nobody is mean to anybody when we're not there to, to be able to watch it. Willow should be a good protective mother. She seems to be so far, but we just want to take it a little bit slow at first. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.